Hey guys, this is Steve here at Hankster's Hot Rods and what we have for you today is this beautiful silver 69 Camaro convertible. Uh, we're going to do our walk around like we usually do here and go over uh, the beautiful things on this car here starting at the front. Uh, starting at the front of the car, one thing we're going to address here, it does have the black hockey stick stripes that are traditional on these on both sides. Also you see the 350 emblem here, that is indeed what is in it, it is a 350 Chevy. And you see the silver painted is in the correct original color of Cortez Silver. Uh, moving along here, uh, we do have the American Racing aluminum wheels, uh, black centers with the polished lip there. And you'll see the BFG Radio TA raised white leather tires, that is the whole way around. Um, the paint on this car is beautiful. Um, as you can see it is as it is in the video, it's a beautiful paint, it's nice and smooth the whole way around. Um, coming up to our first gap here, you'll see the driver's door, driver's fender. Body lines lined right up on the money here, and the gaps are nice and even the whole way up. Uh, coming back here, our bright work around the windshield, a couple little indents there, a couple little surface scratches, but very nice condition overall. And our glass, windshield, and our driver's side here, no chips and cracks in there either. Uh, driver's door, you see paint, it's going to be overall around the car, paint is really great condition. Coming back here, one thing I do want to address before we uh, open up the door, it is a black vinyl top. And the top is in great condition. Um, very nice there, no rips or tears on that. What we're going to do is open up the door here. First thing here, you see our gap, quarter panel to door, also very nice and lines up right on the money there. Opening up the driver's side door here, you're going to see inside here, our interior is a black vinyl bench seats in the front. I mean black vinyl bucket seats in the front, uh, black carpeting, very nice interior on this. It is uh, automatic on the floor. You see the console there. Dash is very nice, a beautiful interior on this car and it does have the wood grain inserts there. And the in dash factory clock in front of the column there. Moving along here, coming to the back, the quarter panel here. Again, the paint continues, great condition. Our back section of our convertible top. This is the plastic there. Great shape, no rips or tears in that. And our gap around the trunk lid, the whole way around, nice and even. And we do have the trunk mounted rear wing on this vehicle. And like I said, the paint is just great on this car. Very great condition. Coming to the rear of the car, our rear bumper, our chrome. Very nice shape. Does have the tiny little speckles here and there. But overall, great condition on that. And the tail panel here with the bezels and our tail light lenses, very great shape, no cracks or chips in those light bezels. What we're going to do now is open up the trunk so you can see inside the floor and so on. Underside of our trunk is also body color. You see it's in great condition. There's no rust or pitting on that around our jams areas of either side, the trunk or the body. And also the seal is in great shape the whole way around. Our trunk floor here, as you can see, all of our stampings are there. No holes, pitting, rust. It's in great shape inside the trunk here. Moving along here, coming over to the passenger side. We'll start with the quarter panel here. As you can see, the paint is just beautiful. Great condition there. Uh, we do have the chrome wheel well moldings the whole way around. Um, again, our Bolding here around the back of the convertible top is also in great shape. You'll see that just a couple of surface scratches, but great condition overall. Glass on the passenger side here, also in great shape. No chips or cracks in that. Our body line here, lines right up on the passenger side door as well, and our gap is right on the money, nice and even. Opening up the passenger side door so you can see the interior from this side. Again, on this side, our door jams are great, no rust pitting there, our interior, you can see the seats are just in beautiful condition, our center console, our carpeting, our dash pad, all of those things are in great shape, our door panels, all great condition. Moving along here, up to our gap on our, dry, our passenger side door, our passenger side fender, nice and even the whole way down, you can see the gaps line right up there on the money and as I mentioned on the other side here is our nice hockey stick stripe on this side and also our 350 emblem here as well. Coming up to the front here um, you can see our front bumper chrome great shape. Um, our headlight bezels, our grill 
no cracks, no chips, no missing sections, very nice condition on our grill, all nice and blacked out there. Uh, what we're going to do now is open up the hood so you can see the engine. We'll go over everything under there. Looking under the hood, here you'll see the underside of the hood is body color. Still got our material in there. Um, our, this is a 350 small block Chevrolet engine. We have a aluminum Holly intake. Of course, we've got some other Holly accents on there as well. We have the aluminum Holly Chevrolet valve covers. We got the Holly air cleaner there. Looks, dresses the engine up very nicely. And this engine does have the exhaust headers on it. It is power steering and power brakes as well. Very nice running car, beautiful car. Um, what we're going to do now is we're going to put it up on a lift. You can see the underside and we'll go over everything under there. Hey guys, we got R69 Camaro up on the lift here. We're going to go over the undercarriage and the parts under here that we usually do, starting at the front. Uh, starting here, we got our control arms, front suspension, all looks to be uh, stock style. Uh, you can see the aftermarket there. And that is on both sides. All our fittings and greasables look to be greased and well taken care of. Um, our front cross member here, pretty solid there. I see it cracks, holes, and that looks pretty good. Coming back, our oil pan on our 350. Our rear seal, our transmission pan on our 350 turbo looks pretty good. Our output seal with the trans looks very nice. I don't see it leaks any of those locations. Looks nice and dry. We do have dual exhaust on this vehicle. As you can see, we've got the long tube headers here, and those go the whole way back in the two bufflers, up over the axle, and out the back. Um, our front section here of our frame, very nice. No holes, cracks in that whatsoever. Looks pretty good. As you can see here, mounted on both sides, we have our e brake cables and our stock locations there running back to the wheels. Uh, coming back here, as I said, we've got our blue exhaust and our nice guard here. Uh, nice to have that there. Drive shaft balance. Coming back, back of the car here. You can see we've got our stampings here on our floor. Our rear seal here at the differential and our differential cover on the back of our 10 bolt rear. Uh, pretty good here, I don't see any leaks whatsoever. And this does have leaf spring suspension on the back. Our mounts for our leaf springs, both sides, front and rear, look very nice on this car. Nothing there, looks pretty good, nice and solid. Uh, this does have BFGs the whole way around, 15-inch uh, tires, and these are the aluminum American racing wheels. Um, we do have the stock style mufflers here, dual exhaust, like I said, does come up over the axle, runs out on both sides, on the outsides of the leaf, the leaf springs, excuse me. Um, pretty much basic back here, we do have newer shocks that look to be fairly new. And the tank itself for the fuel does look uh, newer as well. Our straps for the fuel tank, mounting points and straps are in great condition on both ends, front and rear. Um, besides that, everything looks pretty nice under here. What we're going to do is drop it down, start the engine seat to here around.